He's going to go ahead and do an oil change today on his Dodge 5500. The oil he purchased at AutoZone. And then the um, oil filter on Amazon along with the fuel filter. The two fuel filters also on Amazon. And the air filter on Amazon. Now all of these our original Mopar parts. The dealer wanted extremely high prices for each item, but on Amazon. He's gonna go ahead and use an oil filter wrench along with an extension to take off the oil filter. He's using a 3 8 wrench to remove the um, oil from the bottom of the engine. And he's using a one and one eight wrench to remove the fuel filter. On the right is the old air oil filter, and on the left is the new one. So he likes to make sure that the numbers are the same, which they are. Before we install it. With the new filter, he's gonna go ahead and pour a little bit of oil and put some oil on the O-ring. before we install it. So I'll take my hands and just kind of put some grease up the, put some oil on the O-ring. While the oil finishes draining, we're gonna, he's gonna go ahead and change the fuel filter, which is up here next to the motor. He's gonna go ahead and open up the valve, that yellow valve there, so he can release the fuel to replace the fuel filter. Okay. Now, now go on the bottom. He released it, so now the fuel is dripping into the pan. You're gonna take this uh, inch and one eighth and break it loose. Did you feel? Okay. So once you break it loose. Go in there and, and take it off by hand. Okay. There's a fuel filter under the cab. He's going to go ahead and release the pressure. Then he's going to take it off. And then you gotta unclip this wire right here. There it is right there. New fuel filter comes with two new O-rings. One is for the top here and the smaller one is for the bottom. He's taking off the old O-ring and he's gonna go ahead and install the new one. Okay, 
of course you have to make sure that the o-ring is still on the the old filter and not stuck on the truck in this case it's here so he's going to go ahead and remove it and install the new one now he's installing the new fuel filter And now once I'm gonna do a quarter tight on it. Those right there. And that's it. Just making sure it's nice and tight. And that's and it. He's installing the bottom piece, of course, with the new seal. Okay. With the channel locks, he's going to go ahead and tighten it. Yeah, you don't want to over tighten it. Get this thing break. And then plug it in. And then close the valve. Right there, that should do it. Next, he's gonna go ahead and uninstall this filter. The old one. And we'll take it out. Look bad. Looks pretty dirty. And of course, this is a new one that he filtered. Filter will came with a new O ring. And there's a new filter there. And here's the old filter. Just gotta kind of squeeze right in there. And let it drop. Push down on it. drops all the way to the bottom. We'll take this cap here and this is it's a little twi tight squeeze in here. And twist it by hand. Okay. It's got the new seal. Now I'll take my ratchet and give it a, uh, a quarter turn. One. And that's it, that's good. I'm gonna start to pour the oil in, but before that, of course, you wanna make sure that you have the cap at the bottom of the oil can, oil pan. So Sorry. his Dodge 5500 needs 12 quarts of oil. This large two and a half gallon is 10 quarts, so he's gonna do all of that and then this one gallon is four quarts, so he's going to go ahead and do half of this. Remove the filter, and now he's just cleaning around the filter compartment. This is the old filter. That's pretty dirty. And of course, this is the new filter that he will be installing. As you can see, he's installing the air filter.
since he changed the fuel filter, he's gonna have to primer the truck. And we're gonna do that in just a few minutes and then he will be finished. So how it's primered is you turn the ignition, but you do not turn on the vehicle and you do that three times. Second time? This is the second time and I just leave it on for a few seconds. And then you turn it off. And then this is the third time. Can you turn it off? And then, now we're going to start it. And, and then once we start it, I'm going to check for fuel. Now fuel. I'm going to go ahead and prime the truck and then I'm going to start it and he's going to check for leaks. As you heard, the truck didn't start, so we're going to go ahead and repeat the primering once again. We did the primering, now I'm going to try to start it again. And this time it did start up. Now he's... Just go ahead and leave it on, I'm going to check for a fuel leak and oil leak. He's going to go ahead and check for any fuel and oil leak, and or oil leaks. There wasn't any oil or fuel leaks, but now he's going to go ahead and check the, the engine oil. Level. Level. Now again, he put in 12 quarts, so it should be nice and full. Yes, we're good. And it is. So that's... You can't see it because it's brand new oil. Yeah. Of course, if you're changing your oil yourself, you should uh, make a note of that in your owner's, owner's manual. Although your truck has an indicator, it's nice to keep a record of what you've done and when you did it. Now he's going to go ahead and reset the oil and the fuel on, the, on his Dodge Ram 5500. And this is done right here on the steering wheel. Get right there. Just follow these arrows right here. Up and down and right. Now we're going to go to the, the right to reset it. Oops. Okay, just did it. 100% good. Now the fuel, same thing. Follow these arrow up and down to reset it. Push the right arrow. Confirm reset. Yes, right? Mm hmm. Okay, so oil life. We're good for our over 10,000 miles. resetting these, and you have to make sure that the truck is off, but the ignition is on. Okay. Well, and they have both been reset. So. We're good. We're all done. Now, if you have any questions or comments, please um, let us know, and we'll try to answer those for you. Thank you for watching.